Wang Yufeng and his team have been researching 5G mobile networks in Huawei Technologies since 2009. They are now conducting 5G engineering research aimed at standardizing the technology. Huawei plans to invest over 600 million U.S. dollars in 5G technology research by 2018. We already had a dedicated 5G team with over 1,000 top mobile experts across nine global research centers. Huawei's field testing of the 5G network has led to expectations the mobile download speed will reach over 10 gigabit per second promising the ability to download over 10 high-definition movies in one second. But Wang Yufeng said there are still a lot of challenges for this cutting-edge technology. Compared with the current 3G and 4G mobile networks, which are mainly developed for human-to-human -human telecommunications, the 5G technology is a new data transfer system which will serve both people and old intelligent hardware. It will need very high technology and service standards. In intelligent cities of the future, billions of things, including cars, sensors, mobile phones, and PCs, will one day be interconnected through 5G networks. 5G呢，首先它一定会极大地提升我们人与人之间的沟通方式。the 5G networks will largely improve people's communication means from basic audio to better video quality and even VR. It will also connect intelligent things to improve our urban services and personal health care management. 5G technology is a systematic project covering telecommunication, big data and cloud computing. As the largest mobile network user, China has been leading 5G research. Right now, over 50 Chinese research institutes and operators, including Huawei Technologies and China Mobile, are working closely on developing a unified 5G standard. This is expected to be released around 2018. In addition to unprecedented data transfer speeds, the 5G networks will also allow hundreds of thousands of simultaneous connections bringing greater ease and efficiency. Telecommunications experts say there is still a lot of research and testing to do to get 5G technology ready for commercial use by 2020. Wu Lei, CCTV, Shenzhen.